Let's go ahead and find the determinant of a three by three matrix. So let's say we have the matrix capital A equals one, one, two, three, four, negative seven, six, eight, and two. Okay, so this is a negative seven right here. Okay, so if we wanna find the determinant of this, what we're gonna see is it's actually quite a bit more complicated than finding the determinant of a two by two matrix. So there is a little process that we can follow though. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna say determinant of A equals, now there are actually several different ways we can approach this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this one in the top left corner, and then we're going to multiply it by the determinant of the matrix formed by these four values here, four, negative seven, eight, and two. So what we're really doing is we're taking the one, it's in the first row in the first column, so now what we do is we ignore the first row, ignore the first column, and what's left over is four, negative seven, eight, and two, okay? So if we imagine taking the matrix that's formed by these four here, four, negative seven, eight, and two, and then what we're gonna do is actually multiply this one by the determinant of this matrix. So let's go ahead and use this notation here, four, negative seven, eight, and two. Okay, so again, what are we doing? We're taking the one in the first row in the first column. Then because the one is in the first row and first column, we're ignoring the first row, first column, looking at what's left. And what's left are these four values here. And we imagine they give us this matrix four, negative seven, eight, and two. And we multiply the one by the determinant of that matrix. Okay, now let's go ahead and get rid of this. Now what we do next is we're gonna say minus this one, and then we're going to multiply by what? Well, here, this one is in the first row and second column, so what we wanna do is ignore the first row, ignore the second column, and what's left? The three, the negative seven, the six, and the two are what's left. So if we take the three, the negative seven, the six, and the two, imagine those give us a matrix, okay? Again, this one right here is in the first row, second column, so we ignore first row, ignore second column, and what we have left is three, negative seven, six, and two. So we're gonna multiply this one by the determinants of this matrix here. So three, negative seven, six, and two. Okay, and again, let's go ahead and get rid of this. And then lastly, what we do is say plus two times now you may have noticed a pattern here, so this two is in the first row and third column, so we ignore the first row, ignore the third column, what's left? Three, four, six, and eight. So we're gonna multiply by the determinants of that matrix formed by three, four, six, and eight. Okay. Now this is not the only way we could have done this, and we'll talk more about that later after we've found what the determinant is. So anyway, continuing with this, what do we have? One times, what's the determinant of this two by two, or what is this value here? So we basically wanna find the determinant of this two by two matrix, four, negative seven, eight, and two. So the determinant is gonna be four times two, which is eight. And then we subtract eight times negative seven. So minus eight times negative seven. Okay. And then here we have minus one times this determinant here, which is three times two, which is six and then we're subtracting six times negative seven. And then out here we have plus two times, what's going on in here, three times eight is 24. And then we're subtracting six times four, which is 24 again. Okay. Okay, now what we have is one times, what's going on in here, well this is eight, minus eight times negative seven. Well, this is minus eight times negative seven, so that's gonna give us a plus 56, okay? And then we have a minus one out here times what? Well, this is six minus six times negative seven, so minus six times negative seven, that's gonna give us this six, and then plus, okay, minus six times negative seven gives us plus 42. And then we have plus two times, I guess I skipped some steps over here, but this is just two times zero. 24 minus 24 gives us zero, okay? And now what? Now we have one times eight plus 56 is gonna be 64. Then we have minus one times what? Six plus 42 is 48. 
And then here we have plus two times zero, which is just zero, so that's nothing going on over there. Now we're running out of room down here, so we'll just say, Sixty-four minus forty-eight. Okay, so one times sixty-four gives us sixty-four. Minus one times forty-eight gives us minus forty-eight. And then sixty-four minus forty-eight is going to give us sixteen. Okay, so the determinant of this three by three matrix we just found is sixteen. Okay, now what do we do at the beginning? How do we start this? So remember we took this one, since it's in the first row, first column, we ignore the first row, first column, and then found the looked at the matrix formed by these leftover values here, 4, negative 7, 8, and 2, okay? And then we did minus 1 times if we, so this, this one here is in the first row and second column, so if we ignore the first row, ignore the second column, what's left is 3, negative 7, 6, and 2, and then following that pattern, we did plus 2 times what's left over if we ignore the first row and third column, 3, 4, 6, and 8, the determinant of that matrix there. Now notice we have positive 1, negative 1, positive 2. So we have a minus sign here, even though this was a positive one here. Now, what we did was we took the values in the first row. Now, we didn't have to do that. Okay, we took everything in the first row. What we could have done instead was use the second row or even the third row if we wanted to. Or we could have used the first column or the second column or the third column. Okay, but the point is that we didn't really have to use the first row. But what we do want to be careful of is we want to make sure that we follow the pattern with the signs. So. When we use the 1, it was a positive 1. When we use this 1 here, it was a negative 1. When we use this 2 here, we had a, a plus sign right here. Okay. Now, what if we use the 3, or the 4, or the negative 7? Well, they would follow the alternate pattern, minus, plus, minus. Or if we use the 6, 8, and a 2, they would follow plus, minus, plus. Okay. So, in other words, what we could have done instead was use 3, 4, and negative 7 instead of 1, 1, and 2 but we would have to be careful about the signs. So if we use 3, 4, negative 7, what we would have, I'm not going to go through the calculations again because we'll get the same thing if it's done right, but what we would have had is minus 3, let's go ahead and switch colors here, we would have had minus 3 times the determinant of, well here, 3 is in the second row and first column, so if we ignore second row, ignore first column, what's left over? 1, 2, 8, and 2. So we would have minus 3 times the determinant of this matrix, 1, 2, oops, 8, 2. And then plus 4. So that's second row, second column. If we ignore second row, ignore second column, what's left over? 1, 2, 6, and 2. So plus 4 times the determinant of the matrix formed by, whoops, formed by 1, 2, 6, and 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, write that down. So 1, 2, 6, and 2. And then minus negative 7, but then we have to be careful. So minus negative 7 would actually give us a plus 7. Okay, so minus negative 7 times the determinant formed by ignoring the second row and third column, which would give us 1, 1, 6, and 8. So 1, 1, 6, and 8. And if you actually go through this calculation here, we won't do it in this video, but if you go through this calculation here, you will end up with 16 again. Okay, So a few different ways of finding the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. They're all pretty tedious. There are some other ways that aren't really following this form, this pattern here, or this uh, method here. But if you do use this method, make sure you follow this pattern with the signs. So plus minus plus, minus plus minus, plus minus plus. Be careful with that. And that is an example and an explanation of finding the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix.